This video is recorded to help my students to understand nested quantifiers. We use two examples. Uh, let's see, prove or disprove the following nested quantifiers. Suppose that x, y, z are all positive integers. That means we consider those questions in the range of positive integers. So the first uh, nested quantifiers equivalency for any positive integer x and any positive integer y there exists a positive integer z such that it is greater than the sum of x, y. So the second nested quantifier says that for uh, any positive integer x and any positive integer y, there exists a positive integer z such that z is less than x minus y. Now we can see the first one is correct, the second one is wrong. Now if you want to prove it's correct, you just construct it. So for example, for the first one, I construct it. I say for any positive integer x, any positive integer y, I simply let z equal x plus y plus z, which means I found the z. If you, I can find the z, that means I've, it exists, right? Because I found it. So uh, when you prove existence, you only need to find one. You don't need to find a, uh, more than one. Of course, z equal x plus y plus two, then z also okay. Z equal x plus y plus three also okay. But I only need to find one. So I let z equal x plus y plus one. That's z is a positive integer. So if I do that, then z is a positive integer, and z is greater than x plus y because x plus y plus one is greater than x plus y. So we proved. So. First is correct. Now, we know the second is one. When you want to prove something, this kind of uh, nested quantify statement is one, then you just need to find a counter example, which means you say for any positive integer x, for any positive integer y, there exists positive integer z less than x minus y. In this case, if I can find one x, and one y such that the low positive integer less than the difference, then we disprove this. So in that case, we just simply let x equal y. Then uh, if you even want to more specify x equal y equal one, because you say for any x, for any y, right? So I pick up one x, one y. So then x minus y equals zero. There is low positive integer is less than zero. So we proved that there is no such as z such that is less than x minus y. So we prove this second statement is wrong. So two is wrong. Okay.